On tonight's show, we have a Miracle Monty, a beautiful piece of eye candy, Fazdu, what's that stand for? And as always, we give one lucky viewer a chance to win one of the products reviewed right here on the Imagine Marketplace. Stay tuned. What's shaking, guys? Welcome to episode 24 of the Imagine Marketplace right here at the Magic Session. On tonight's show, we have the Miracle Monty from Wolfgang Moser. This is an incredibly commercial and fooling version of the three car monty i'm sure you're going to want to add this one to your act up next we have ink this is from michael chatelian i uh, hope i pronounced that right this is a paul harris presents product and it's been the talk of the internet this is quite a piece of eye candy with a magical touch and last but not least in my favorite part of the show and yours we have from mr paul cummins from a shuffled deck in use also known as Bazdu. And I'm your host, Luke Dancy. Thank you guys for tuning in, whether you're watching us live in our live session room every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, or if you're joining us on demand, or of course on our brand new YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the support and all the great feedback that we've been getting lately. And uh, I also want to kick it over to my co-host. This week, once again, we have, there he is, Mr. Josh Norris. All right, excited to be here. Sounds like we got some awesome magic tonight. I've been watching this ink demo, and I've got no idea how it's done, so I can't wait to get into that one. And that's why it's magic, because no one knows how it's done. Brand new magic right here on the show. And I think it's only fitting, though, uh, that we start off the show by talking about the Miracle Monty, which was in last week's SmackDown. So uh, what do you say, Josh? You ready to kick the show off? Let's do it. Yeah, we had uh, Luis D'Amato's Magic Square DVD against the Miracle Monty. You guys voted, and this is the trick we're reviewing this week. All right, Josh told you, and now here it comes, the Miracle Monty. very special because this is not a magic trick, okay? Uh, it's, um, it's more like a game, like a game of cards, okay? okay it's, it's, there's a little swindle involved also, but just a little bit, okay? Okay, actually it's cheating, but I will, I will show you how to do it. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, you just uh, need three cards to play this game, okay? The two black cards and the ace of hearts. And you just have to follow where the ace is. If you know where the ace is, you win, okay? First, we're gonna mix up the cards place down, okay, so mix them very slowly like this, okay, now if you would have to guess which one would you think, I think, like this, this one. the one in the middle, okay, would you like to bet, let's say 500 euro? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, what a pity, you, you would have won, okay, but the first one is always uh, the easy one, uh, we'll do it in slow motion this time, okay, slow motion, watch the ace of hearts, okay, slow motion, okay, or like this, now if you would have to guess, mm -hmm. what would you guess? This one. This one. Sure? Mm -hmm. okay. Good thing. Good thing you didn't bet any money this time because uh, the ace is <laughs> always the one you but I know what you think. You think uh, I have three cards and you only have two eyes. Okay? So mm -hmm. this time uh, we'll get rid of one of the black cards. Okay? So we're just going to use these two. And to make it even more fair, I will mark the ace with the paper clip. Okay? So I put the paper clip on the ace like this. And now you just have to follow the paper clip, and then you will know where the ace is, right? Okay. So uh, if you would have to guess, which one would you think? This one. This one. This one. Mm -hmm. So you sure about this one? I'm so sure. What would you think? This one. This one too. <laughs> A lot of people say it's this one, but, but you're right. You're right. See, the red one is always the one you never expect. It's um, the one on the table. <laughs> <laughs> just turn it over. You see oh my God. So <laughs> Maybe one last time. One last time. Uh, and this time, um, to make it absolutely sure, I will mark the ace itself, okay? So I'll take the ace and I will tear a corner of the card. Can you see? Okay. Maybe the lighting is not too good here. Let's do like this, okay? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Or maybe just do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> so forget about the black cards, okay? The black cards are just to confuse you. Now, it's very simple because this time we have proof, we have evidence which one is the ace, okay? Which one is the ace? This one. Right, okay? Now, even if I get rid of the evidence, um, the proof remains, okay? Sure. We have still a missing corner. Even if I mix up the cards, okay? Now, be honest, you, now you would bet every money you have on this card, right? You would? Really? Sure. You really? I bet you never be sure. No? <laughs> <laughs> you should never be sure because at the end, Ace is always where you never expect it. It's <laughs> Once again, proof why you truly never want to play cards with a magician. <laughs> That's right. This is the uh, Miracle Monty. 
This is from Wolfgang Moser, and probably from his name you can tell he's not from the States. He's, uh, he's from Austria, and uh, he must be really good friends here with Pitt Hartling because we got a great quote on the front of the box from Pitt. It says, Wolfgang's routine adds the perfect final punch to the classic Skinner Monty. So those of you out there watching that might think, oh, this, this looks like, you know, some of the handling from the Skinner Monty. Well, you know, they're not trying to hide that. This definitely has some influence from the original Skinner routine. Yeah, so uh, I actually performed Skinner's Monty, and I'm looking at the chat room here, and a bunch of guys are asking exactly that question. Is this just Skinner's Monty dressed up? Uh, I can tell you right now it is a little more than that, but it obviously does credit uh, that as having been an influence. Uh, the other effect that everybody's asking about here is Stand Up Monty by Garrett Thomas, which is the other effect that's really hot right now. And I've actually performed all three of these effects at some point in my act. So I think that's a very good starting point, is how does this compare to other Monty routines that are already out there on the market. Well, in my opinion, when you see Garrett Thomas doing the stand-up Monty, uh, it's a totally different pace from what you're getting with the Miracle Monty. And Josh, I know that you do the uh, stand-up version, the stand-up Monty from Garrett. As you can tell in this one, you're doing things very slow and very deliberate. And if I'm not mistaken, when you do the uh, Garrett Thomas routine, the stand-up Monty, you have to really pick up the pace, or he seems to pick up the pace when he runs through the routine. And I'm assuming that's pretty much how it goes with, uh, we have most people that do the routine, right? Yeah, so for Stand Up Monty, that's a routine that I added into my act. After seeing this at Magic Live, the pace is a little faster, and it is more of a challenge aspect to the game, and it's so fast, almost the audience isn't aware of what's happening. Bam, it's here, and then it's there, and then it's in the pocket, and then they are all three queens or all three fours. Uh, there's a lot more phases and a lot more going on. I wouldn't necessarily compare them head to head. I would say there is room for both of them in your act, maybe not in the same set, these are both workers, these are both fantastic routines, but I don't think it's necessary to make a direct comparison. I still perform Skinner's Monty every night, and I still perform stand-up Monty every night. It just depends whether I'm standing, whether there's a table surface, or even what mood I'm in. So I like the ability to have that kind of variety. No, absolutely. And the, the other really cool thing is they both have a very nice kicker ending, a nice punch at the end. Uh, the Miracle Monty, much different because you're, you're tearing the card, you're altering the card. Uh, or not altering, but you're tearing the card and leaving it, you know, in a state that's different, you know, that's impossible conditions, and then you can let them keep the card at the end if you like. Uh, and Garrett's routine has a totally different ending, but it's also got a really good surprise ending with the wild card finish. Yeah, and so when I do Skinner's Monty or I do Miracle Monty, I find that people are blown away as if this is pure magic. The cards change under impossible conditions. With stand-up Monty, I feel as though I'm getting credit for doing some impossible sleight of hand. So to the spectators, the method feels different. The pace of it could be the reason for that. I think these are all three great products. I love the Miracle Monty. One of the guys in the room is asking. He says, if I could only pick one, White Oak Cannon, what would I pick? To me, if I only had a limited amount of money to spend, I would get Stand Up Monty only because you can do it standing or with a table. However, that takes nothing away from Miracle Monty. This is still a worker and a fantastic effect that I think you should have in your repertoire. Uh, I agree. And uh, the other cool thing is on the DVD, uh, which is basically looks like it's shot at a magic convention. He also includes kind of a, a cool little bonus routine he calls Stuntman, uh, where the card burns itself into the deck onto the back of the selected card. Pretty cool. So there's a little bonus routine in there, too. You can tell that the guy's a worker. Uh, you can tell that he knows what he's doing. And you do receive 20 of the gimmick cards, because as you saw from the demo, you are going to burn through these by ripping the card to do the impossible ending. So they do include 20. Uh, these are part of the new mandolin back decks. So uh, they include 20 of those so that you're able to continue doing this. And I'm uh, assuming you can buy refills as well. Yeah, so uh, then I guess you get the DVD and you get the cards to perform the trick and a few refills. Uh, what is the price on this one, Luke? Uh, great question. I really know that's what it all boils down to as always. And that would be $24.95. So for $25, bucks, you are getting, like you said, DVD, the cards, full-blown routine, little bonus action on the side. And uh, it feels like a solid buy in my opinion. Yeah, I'd have to say this is a worker and one that I'm still happy to perform. And again, it comes down to just a matter of taste. Great routines all around. Absolutely. And uh, that was, like Josh said earlier, that was part of uh, last week's SmackDown. So let's now jump quickly into this week's SmackDown to show you what the two products are that are fighting head-to-head -head this week. Um, here we go. The two products this week we have. In spirit of Halloween, I wanted to grab two products that I thought might fit the Halloween season quite well. So we have Bob Cassidy's Seance which is a full-blown seance. Uh, he gives you tips on how to do seance, uh, routines to do, and of course, a lot of advice. Up against our friend from the Magic Session, Jamie Dawes, and his haunted deck routine called Scared. And it's actually a totally impromptu haunted deck, 
routine. So those two products this week are going head to head over on our Facebook page. Uh, we have the polls set up for you right there. I'll show you right here at the top of the page. Right there, we have those two products going head to head. So go over there after the show, facebook.com slash we session, and click on the one that you want us to review next week. And uh, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll review it right here on the show. All right. Um, so, Josh, I know you've been wanting to talk about this one. I know that the guys over on the Glimpse also have been wanting to talk a lot about ink. So I think it's only fitting now that we run the demo for that. And then we come back and answer all of your questions and more right here at the Magic Marketplace. Stay tuned. <laughs> to the show boys that is the demo for uh, quite a hot effect out right now this is ink from uh, I believe his name is Michael Chatelain uh, he's French my French isn't so good so uh, <laughs> that's my guess for now uh, the easiest part to say is that it's a Paul Harris presents product so there you go uh, this has been getting quite uh, this has been quite popular over on the glimpse this week a lot of people are interested in this because as everyone knows it's a gimmick and people want to know more about the gimmick and its uses that's what's uh, that's what's going on over there right Josh Yes, and as you mentioned, this was our feature in the Glimpse, which is posted every Friday. It's your look and effect we're going to review. And the biggest question, the one that keeps coming back week after week, regardless of the trick, I feel like, is whether this is practical and whether it is as good as it looks in the demo. That's really the question these days, is if what I see in the demo, is that really what it looks like in person? And again, I think that's where we should start. Is this practical? Is this something that you can really do in the real world? And does it look as visual as this trailer? Because to me, this looks almost like real magic. Yes, it does. And uh, it does look good in person. Uh, what you're seeing in the demo is not misleading. Um, the only thing that you need to realize is uh, each demonstration of the effect being done requires you to then set the gimmick back up to do it again. So it's not like you can do it once and then go to your next table and just do it again. You do need to go back somewhere for just a few seconds, reset this to do it again. And uh, so, yes, it is practical. The reset's very quick, um, but it does look as good in person as it does on the demo. Great question. Yeah, I think sometimes magicians get hung up on effects that require a little bit of work before you perform. I'm all for sets that inst uh, tricks that instantly reset, 
but sometimes it's worth it to me to do an effect that does take a little bit of so time, something you have to step aside or step away or turn your back to a table and do if the effect is strong enough. And this one to me uh, looks like it is strong enough that I wouldn't mind stepping away from a table, getting this thing ready before I go and perform it. And maybe it's not something you do for every table. Maybe you do it for uh, just a special group that comes in or repeat customers, that kind of thing. Absolutely. And the other cool thing here is, as you saw from the demo, there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of different things you can do with the gimmick. So it's not just you having to do you know, one thing with the gimmick. It allows you to cause things to morph, to change, and to move on the back of the box. So um, there's a lot of different possibilities with the gimmick that's included. The gimmick's very well made, and he does teach you on the DVD how to replace it and fix it if needed. Yeah, and on the trailer, to me, and I don't own this effect, it looks like mostly uh, writing, changing into the playing card name. Uh, and a lot of people in the glimpse this week were asking, are you really just limited to uh, ink disappearing, or are there more visual routines? Can you come up with your own drawings or words or are you limited to a specific effect with this no this is uh, the great way to think about this or the best way to think about it is a lot like matthew beach's sympath uh, sympathetic sympathetic which is tough to say uh the effects that you could do with the friction pin and this is the same kind of not the same method directly but the same kind of idea where you can take that concept and you can apply it in your own way to your own effects uh, as you saw, it's not just the revelation of the cards. My favorite thing that you can do with this has got to be when you hold up the box, you have the little stick man on there, and you start to just blow gently at the box, and his hat starts to lift off and move off the top of his head. So you can also animate objects as well. So it's not just ink vanishing, in other words. You can have things moving and crawling around the card box. Uh, too cool. No, it is, it is cool, and you, you, know, you do need to experiment with the things that you want to do to make sure that they can be possible. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do they're leaving this up to your imagination to really run with it and to uh, have fun because you'll have fun, honestly, watching this happen in the mirror because as Josh said earlier, it really does look a lot like trick photography and what real magic would look like if you could really do it. Yeah, and uh, just looking over here at the chat room, White Oak Canyon has asked another question that I saw appearing on the Magic Cafe a lot this week and also in the glimpse. People were asking, is the gimmick noticeable? Okay, is there bad angles here or are there certain lighting conditions? Uh, is the gimmick noticeable? Is it easy to flash or easy to conceal? Um, can you talk about that a little bit, Luke? Uh, yeah, you know, the, the gimmick, you know, a gimmick is a gimmick is a gimmick. And I know that sounds a little convoluted. Um, there are, you know, there's a little bit of angle restriction on this. You don't want anybody behind you to see what's going on. And to a certain extent, you really don't want to have people totally like on your sides either. So if you can do this with people in front of you watching, best angle possible for that, definitely. Um, as far as it not looking as good in person, uh, I don't have any issues with what I know because mm -hmm. I, I saw the demo. I had no idea <laughs> what was going on. And then, uh, I, you know, a lot of people have speculations, and I, I'm actually glad. No one I've talked to has been able to figure out exactly how this works. But the cool thing is uh, what you see in the demo, you can do this in person. And I think that when you know what to look for, you'll probably go, oh, well, I can see it. But if you watch it the first few times or if you watch yourself in the mirror do it, I can guarantee you, people aren't going to notice it like you are because, of course, you're looking for the dirty work. Okay, so in a sense, it is practical, and there aren't any bizarre lighting requirements or terrible angles. This is practical. I would say that it is practical, and uh, it's one of those things that you can go out and start doing, and it's not going to take a whole lot of practice either, so that's pretty cool. You, sh you just get used to the gimmick, get used to playing around with it, and uh, you'll be doing this in no time. Okay, so super visual effect. It looks like movie magic that you can do in the real world. Sounds like a winner to me. What is the price on this, and what do you get for that? Well, for the price, uh, of course, that's what's always, always important. Forty-four ninety-five. So for forty-five bucks, you're receiving the DVD, uh, which goes over performances out in public for live people, and also he goes over uh, the explanations in like his home or in a studio somewhere, uh, and most of that's done just to music with some uh, writing popping up on the screen and the gimmick is included and there's also an additional part to go along with the gimmick that's included so basically everything you need to start doing this right away is included and like I said if you need to fix this or replace it uh, for the most part the gimmick should not wear out on you but if you need to tweak it or fix it up he's included how to do that too so everything you need is here and uh, you know this is cool it's a little on the high side keep this in mind 45 bucks is a little bit high but when you see the gimmick, you'll, you'll know exactly why it's a little bit more than the average $30 trick because there's a lot of work that goes into making this.
Yeah, and it's something super visual and different off the beaten path. Your spectators are going to absolutely love this, and I think I would have fun performing it myself. Uh, I'm going to pick it up, and I would recommend everybody else does the same. Uh, with that being said, I think it's time for us to give away a little bit of the magic we review here on the show. I like the way that you think, and I know that everyone else out there likes to think the same way. They want more magic, and let's do it right now. So, uh, of course, this week's winner uh, was collected from those of you that have posted around the website, in our articles, our on-demands, all of those good places, and uh, we picked out a brand new winner this week. So let's do the drum roll. This week's winner is Magic of Adam, and if I'm not mistaken, Adam Rose, that would be you. So Adam Rose, congratulations, you are this week's Random Magic Giveaway winner, and it's now time to give away some of the magic right now. Uh, let's check out our price chart. This keeps growing every week. Um, this uh, last week, actually, we gave away, uh, it was number 32, which was the Behind the Illusions from JC Sum and Magic Babe Ning. So we've replaced that with one of the hottest effects, the Any Sign Card to Any Spectator's Wallet. So that's right, guys. That's now part of the mix, along with the EMC DVD set, a signed copy of Redemption, and much, much more. And uh, let's now jump over to the uh, Wheel of Riches, and let's give away some magic to Adam right here. So I'm going to click the little thing here, and we're going to spin... The wheel of oh, riches. <laughs> thousand. Thousand. Come on. Give him the good stuff. Give him the good stuff. What we got here? What we got? Check it out. Let's see. What is that? That's number five. And let me pop back over to me real quick and say hello. And then we'll pop back over to the prize chart. And that looks like number five is from one of our friends at the Magic Session, Jeff Price, and his DVD, which is called Gum. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a good one. Uh, I think there's four or five effects you can do with gum uh, on the DVD, and that will be sent out to you. Adam, we'll get in touch with you, get your address, and ship it out in the mail to you right away. Yes, and short and sweet, if you want to win some free magic, go on to our website, themagicsession.com. Post a comment, engage in a discussion anywhere on the site, whether it's an article or one of the recent shows we posted in the On Demand. That is all you have to do to be entered to win some magic we review right here on the show. Josh said it all. And that leads us into my favorite part of the show. Here we go, boys. Welcome to It's in a Book. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. rainbow. A reading rainbow. Oh. A reading rainbow. Take a look. It's in a book. Right here on the Imagine Marketplace. Now, tonight, not necessarily a book, as you can tell from what I'm holding up. This is actually a series of notes. Uh, this is uh, something that I don't know how many pages are here. I was trying to go through. Uh, I believe there's about 50 pages. Uh, it looks like more like 70, around 70 pages. Anyway, these are lecture notes from Paul Cummins, who is a regular around the Magic Session. And uh, this is his uh, lecture notes that are called From a Shuffled Deck in Use. Uh, Paul likes to tag the term FASDU, F-A-S-D-I-U, which would be From a Shuffled Deck in Use. And uh, it, it goes along with Paul's philosophy about the way that he thinks card magic should be done. And uh, that basically means that you're able to take a deck of cards that's been shuffled by the spectators, go in, do effects right away. Maybe you can set up a few other effects that you're going to do a little bit later, but you take a deck that could be borrowed and you can start doing miracles with a deck that someone gives you. Yeah, I absolutely love this kind of card magic. This is stuff you can do in the real world because Paul obviously is a veteran. He's been doing magic and bar magic for years, and uh, I actually remember seeing him almost 10 years ago with you, Luke, at the first convention we ever went to together, which was Magic on the Beach in Miami, Florida, and I believe uh, Paul did his lecture there, and I got some tips on the side steal. Uh, he's been a huge part of the community. He's always in the lounge, and he's so helpful. Paul, thank you for supporting us, and we absolutely love this set of notes. Yeah, and the, you know, the funny thing is, when Paul goes to conventions, he'll bring along his notes and his DVDs and everything, and I know that uh, for some of the smaller conventions where it's more the hardcore card guys, he'll bring his notes, and the funny thing is, everyone there will already own the notes. And that speaks volumes about the material that's in this set of notes because it's practical, it's commercial, it's doable, and it's fooling, and it's just stuff that your spectators are going to love. And one of my favorite routines, I've said this for years, uh, is called Flasher. And, and Flasher is basically a very simple it's not self-working, but it's as close to self-working as you can get. Uh, miracle that you could do to your spectators, and a lot of the magic actually happens 
out of your hands. And that's, that's a lot of uh, the kind of stuff that Paul includes in here, too. Yeah, so real world stuff from a veteran of card magic, uh, great routines, great tips, and uh, this is definitely something, if you're a close-up guy, you should absolutely have in your library. Uh, Luke, where can they pick this up, though? That's the question. Can they get it straight from Paul? Yeah, uh, and Paul includes not only the notes on the page, he's got DVDs, like you said before, the side still DVD, um, FASDU, which will pop up the uh, link here in just a second when we run the price, FASDU.com, that's F-A-S-D-I-U.com. Uh, that's Paul's website where he uh, has all of his products for sale. And uh, I want to touch on something else real quick because the, the name of the notes is a little misleading, but not totally misleading. So don't get me wrong here. Uh, it says from a shuffled deck in use, which leads you to believe that it's nothing but card tricks. However, the better part of the later part, the better part of the second half of the booklet, I should say, is coin magic. Uh, Paul's known for doing some very commercial and fooling coin magic as well. He does also, uh, he's got a DVD out called Up in Smoke where he does a lot of the back clip techniques. Now that's not necessarily what you're finding here, but he's known also for his coin work and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, so uh, practical, real world, uh, something that absolutely should be in your library. Uh, what's the price on this one, Luke? Well, that's always, always, always. What it boils down to is how much. And uh, the price for the FASDU notes from a shuffle deck in use, $25. Now, I want to say something real quick about the price, 25 bucks. You're getting a crap load of magic here. You're not just getting three routines or four routines like you might find on a lot of DVDs now. You're getting, and I haven't counted these myself, but I'm just looking at the contents here. And I would think out of this set of notes, you're probably going to end up looking at 20 to 25 effects. So look at that, 25 bucks. You ended up paying maybe a dollar for each effect if you want to break it down like that. In my opinion, that's just silly. That's a no-brainer. And uh, he also has uh, another set of notes, which is FASDU 2. We'll be taking a look at those maybe next week or somewhere, uh, somewhere else down the road. But this set of notes, if you're a card guy, if you're a close-up guy, and you do restaurant work, or if you do even... I know bars. Uh, Paul does bars. He's a bar, bar magician a lot of times. Stuff in there. You know this stuff works. It's done by a pro, and uh, we can't recommend this enough. So if you don't have it, pick it up right now. <laughs> wow, what a great show this week. The products that we have had on here, every one of them can go immediately into your repertoire or into your library with the example of this book. We had the Miracle Monty, such a worker, such a great routine. We had the ink effect, which looks like a camera trick right in front of the spectator's eyes. And this book, uh, fantastic set of material on the show tonight, all things that I highly recommend. If you want to keep up with us, remember you can check us on Facebook and Twitter and get the updates on the stuff and the glimpse every Friday. Uh, but wow, I have to say uh, three products that you absolutely uh, should go out there and grab. Uh, yeah, you, you pretty much wrapped it up there. I mean, we've seen some great stuff, which isn't always the case. But uh, yeah, I mean, the two effects, the, the Monty, a great thing I can see people doing right away. The ink, probably something you might want to show to your magician buddies because it's such a fun toy. Uh, but of course, you would use it in the real world too. And uh, the Paul Cummins notes from a shuffle deck in use, that's a no-brainer. So yeah, that's... Uh, Great stuff this week, and uh, we hope to bring you even more great stuff next week right here at the Magic Marketplace. So um, I guess, Josh, we're going to wrap things up. If we have uh, any announcements, I know that we have one big thing coming up next week. Actually, two big things that we should tell people about. Uh, I'll tease the first thing that's coming on Tuesday, and I'll let you tease what we got going on next Thursday. Now, next Tuesday is part of our jam session day over in the lounge. We have a very special guest, someone that Paul Cummins wrote a book for, Mr. Doug Kahn, will be joining us for a very special live jam session in the lounge at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And Doug is known for his commercial magic as well. He's been a uh, he's he's done street magic. He's done stuff uh, New Orleans busking. He's also done a lot of other great stuff. And you can find videos online on YouTube when you see him live. You're gonna love his stuff. We guarantee it. So we'll see you there with Doug Kahn this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And Josh, tell him about Thursday. We got going yeah. on for that. So if you guys are watching us on YouTube or on demand, you might only know us for the marketplace. And it's important to point out that we also have live lectures in the on demand section. And we do live lectures on the website. Now, we haven't had one in months. We did the Celebrity Jam session with Jay Sankey. We had him on, but that was not recorded. This coming Thursday marks the return of the live lectures with the new broadcast technology. You are absolutely going to love what we're doing here. You can watch live, you can interact, and you can learn some fantastic magic for free in a live lecture by the one and only... Mr. Jamie Dolls. Jamie's going to be t joining us and kicking things off next Thursday for the return of our lecture series. And if you miss it, don't worry, it will be in the on-demand section. 
That's right. We are proud to have Jamie Dawes, who's the host of the International Jam Session, right here with us. There he is. Jamie's put out a lot of great stuff, and uh, we're excited to have him, and we know that you guys are going to love what he's got to offer. And don't worry if you can't make it live. We will have him in the on-demand section for you to enjoy at your convenience. So, Josh, this has been a great show, man. Thanks for joining us once again. It's always great to have you on, and uh, I know that the guys out there appreciate you spending your time with us, too. So, uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight for the show, man. Thanks for having me, Luke. It was a blast. All right, boys. Well, that about wraps it up for this week. Don't forget, you can watch us live every single Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time in our live session room over at the Magic Session. And uh, you can also check out the On Demand or on our brand new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash we session. All right, boys. Have a fantastic week. Uh, get ready for Halloween. Uh, you can post pictures of your Halloween costumes if you like on our wall. That'd be pretty fun to see. But anyway, guys, take care. Be good. And uh, as I always say, be good or be good at it. Catch you next time. Is this your card? I don't know. Was it a red card? I don't know what red is. Ta-da!